no podemos seguir mira el río está creciendo de nuevo hay rápidos arriba siento no podemos seguir I knew that was it for Yossi. It would take weeks, if not a month, to get back to the jungle. And there's no way that he could survive another month in the jungle. And I just felt this terrible sense of guilt that I'd caused his death. I clearly heard a buzz, like a, like a bee or a wasp, and it's like coming closer, and I can start hearing it circulating my, my head. So, you know, I'm already in like the, the zone of like delirium. I'm just trying to get rid of that wasp because as it's so strong that noise in a certain point I think it maybe it's trapped inside the mosquito nets and I raise my head and I just try to get rid of that wasp and the buzz is in my ears and as I raise my head and there's no I don't see the wasp but when I turn my head right there on the beach I see shades and people. It's like at that stage, I'm not, I, I don't know what's going on. Just, you know, like Kevin, like a flesh is already there and I'm collapsing in his arms and we just hold each other and hold each other. It's now just emotion. We cry and cry and cry. I couldn't believe it that, that we'd found him. If he would have been upstream, just a hundred yards away, he wouldn't have heard, heard us. We wouldn't, we wouldn't have seen him. I mean, it's literally one in a million. My life was spared. I mean, I know Kevin saved my life, but it was a miracle. For sure, it was a miracle. I think that Yossi saved my life, because if, if uh, we hadn't found him, if he, if he would have perished in the jungle, I would have had a very heavy burden to bear, knowing that I caused his death. Because I put him in the situation, and I was, I was entirely responsible. So I think that's how I see it. <laughs>